Anyway, back to music. Okay, um, yeah, I've had my rants. Anyone got their own rants with regards to the music of this year? Um, honestly, no, not really. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of what I got in the only thing I can think of really is that the one Jackson 5 Christmas song that got released, it's on the radio, it really annoys me. Please Wait, go away. What? Jackson 5 song? Well, not a new one. Alright. Yeah, there hasn't been a new Christmas song in the last 30 years, right? <laughs> Justin Bieber right. released a Christmas song about three years ago. But well, you. Well, I probably <laughs> had that on the radio as well, but just. I, I don't have any problems with the Jackson 5, but that one song is really obnoxious. But the thing is, there's no real... It's, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if there was any Jackson 5 songs, simply because uh, of hearing about how Michael Jackson recorded songs after he died, and then... This is true. After, after he died. Recording songs after he died. <laughs> 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 Turns out... Before, up... be, before he died to release after. It's <laughs> the thing he did, right? So, like, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, he got the idea from, like, something, you know, Jackson 5 did as a kid or something, you know? It's mm. not completely out of line of reasoning. Yeah. Now, I'm just imagining him releasing songs after he died. Turns out he's got this Jacob Marley situation going, but instead <laughs> he's cursed to forever release new songs. <laughs> that or he's uh, Tupac and he's just got a hologram. Which is <laughs> <pulling> out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Soon, Tupac and Hatsune Miku go on stage together. Oh, for all... Yeah, uh, yeah, if that, that doesn't that, happen yeah, by... It's happening. This, oh yeah, I mean, just Miku Expo. Oh God! It's happening again next year as well. Well, this year now. They actually did Tupac and Miku. Oh, I mean, just Miku having a world tour. Oh, I knew about that. Everyone I'm knows sure about that. My cat there. knows about that. Are you sure they weren't on stage at the same time? I don't think so. I I mean, know, or at least one after the other. I'm not sure. In any case, this is just not proved. That that Tupac has achieved so many of his dreams and died and gone to 2D heaven. Tupac is actually a vocaloid. Yeah, he's just, he's just hanging out with, with the vocaloids and gorillas in the afterlife. <laughs> gorillas aren't dead yet. I've never seen them. No, they just, hang out in, they just hang out in the second dimension. And that's where he's gone. Like, it's like in Medica, where, 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 where if you die enough, uh, you might be able to become a concept. And Tupac has become a two-dimensional concept. I must have missed that episode of Madoka. The law of the cycle. Talking of, talking of uh, you know, things that are like that, how about that one guy that, you know, bought the Wu-Tang Clang album? Oh, God, uh, that! Uh, that's, that's, you know oh, the same that's... guy that bought that AIDS medication and hyped the price up? To seven hundred and fifty dollars yes. per pill. Also to be a shit League of Legends team manager. Yes. That guy who has the most punchable face in the history of humanity. He looks like a Skeven. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Bill Murray, go and sell the album back already. Wait, what? He has a, dude, the, like the Wu Tang. Well, just give the rundown. Like the Wu Tang kind of just one of a kind album, right? Yeah. Once upon a once upon a like, time, once upon a time in Shaolin or whatever it was called, wasn't it something yeah. like that? Something like yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, it was like, what is it? if they only released one copy and they sold it for $2 million to so this Martin Shkreli, bit, Martin Shkreli guy, right? Who is yeah. this awful, awful person. Well, the, Martin Shkreli recently got arrested for fraud. Yeah, so I he, heard about that. Yeah. Basically, either the, now the Wu-Tang Clan and Bill Murray are our only hope. The reason I said Bill Murray is because like one uh, in the things that were done in the contract for the, this guy to richly receive the album, one of the clauses was... Uh, there is a two-time opportunity, I think it is, one or two-time opportunity, I think it was two, for a heist or shenaniganry, I think it actually I think it actually said shenanigan or heist <laughs> in the contract. I so hope so, it did yeah. say shenanigans. I'm pretty sure it did, and um, basically the Wu-Tang Clank are allowed to try and steal the album back. And But, well, the only people who have been listed as being allowed to do it are the Wu-Tang Clan and Bill Murray, for some reason. I don't know if Bill Murray is even in on this, but they listed Bill Murray. So... <laughs> I would love if Bill Murray was the one to steal and it. It's, uh, it actually says in the contract we are allowed to try and steal it back with no legal repercussions. So, uh... Wow, that is... That is covering your ass! <laughs> I know, right? So basically, we're waiting for the Wu-Tang Clan or Bill Murray to steal the album back and put it into more reliable hands. That or um, Taylor Swift to record it when she's over at Martin Shkreli's house, because he said, 
Oh yeah, well, I'm not going to share it with anyone. But if Taylor Swift wants to come over and, and listen to it with me, she's vocal, which is not the biggest comment he's ever made. So basically, Taylor Swift has to go over and, and ask to stay for ask to stay overnight there, taking Dolph Murray in a suitcase so they can <laughs> love the album and run, and that will be it. Hollywood, get on this now. Do it. Take, this take sounds like the best movie. film ever. We need that to pitch wrong. this. And when we complete it, I actually use the album as a soundtrack to the film. Yeah. <laughs> we need to pitch this. We need to go. Taylor Swift and Bill Murray to go to Munstrelli's house and steal back the Wu Tang Clan album. Why not just get? In fact, why not just make it like so that make it seem like she's real, like we high maintenance. You don't, you like, goes in with like a dozen suitcases and it's like oh man I, 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 I've just got so much stuff I'm here for one mate yeah well like meanwhile in every in suitcase is filmed by every single bag of all the <laughs> yes <laughs> let's get on this this would be amazing yeah we need to do this but like I, I do wonder I, I'd much rather they actually went and do it and now's the perfect time instead of the guys in the heel trouble well and the thing is no he's in a position where no judge is going to have sympathy for him pretty much he he's quite he's quite he is a complete asshole yeah, he is quite easily the easiest convictable person in the world because I can imagine any um, defence lawyer is going to look at the case and go fuck that I just hope his defence lawyer ends up being like a public issued one. <laughs> yeah. Day. I want his defence lawyer to be like sore from better call Saul from Breaking Bad. No, I well, want his def- money to actually get something good, but I'm just hoping that so- it's someone good with a letter of sense of humour. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I've got it. I've got it. Addition to the film premise. It's a member of the Wu Tang clan who's his defence <laughs> lawyer. Oh, no, that's it. No, no, even better. Um, oh, what was the group that um, Dr. Dre and Ice T and all that? Oh, NWA. Yeah, a member of NWA is his defence lawyer. What is it? His defence lawyer is a Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! There's a voice from the grave, just to be a defence lawyer. And the prosecution is speaking clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we've got out of our minds! <laughs> and the yeah, jury is just an entire set of clones of Snoop Dogg dancing. But basically, the whole Mugs Grelly of Brutal on Shenanigans has has easily been one of the big stories of the year. Yeah. I one, of, I one of the few that actually been loud enough for me to hear. Well, it's been everywhere. It's sort of like you find out about it and you just go, wait, what? <laughs> I think the weirdest part is hearing the story separately. And yeah. The same guy in all of them. Yeah, you yeah. just sort of like, yeah. wait, this is all the same guy. What a fuck ass. I. I. Uh, how? How. He, he's like a failed Bond villain. It's <laughs> just... more like he's more like the, the like Gary on in um um ah oh shit <laughs> Gold Member and stuff like that you know uh, Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? So here's just the younger, let more embarrassing Doctor Evil. Basically, he's Scott from those movies. That's what I mean, Scott. The only Gary I can think of is Gary motherfucking Oak. And he's certainly not that. <laughs> yeah, Gary Oak got redeemed. Hmm. Also, Gary Oak would visit the graves of people who died from AIDS. I don't know where that logic is coming from. He'll cut down zombies in half of his amazing Charles head. What? 
just thinking of Pokemon Adventures where where red meets blue in the Lavender Tower. Uh-huh. And like, oh, and the gym, and the gym leader um, Koga from um, Saffron, not Saffron City, you know, the bug guy, the, the the poison guy. Yeah, it's like, ah, I got you now. And they're all just like undead Pokemon running around, and Charmeleon just cuts them to pieces. Ah, the bit, that's the bit where our bot gets cut in half. Ah, that bit. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, yeah, yeah. Monster thing. Yeah. Well. That. The other bit of um, big news I came across this year was um, Kanye West getting blown the fuck out by Corey Taylor. Oh, that. Yeah. That was amazing. Tell me in. Um, basically, you know how Kanye West is sort of. I'm the world's greatest rock star. I'm the 21st century's greatest rock star. Greatest rock star of all time. Uh, words, yeah. Corey Taylor, I can't remember if it was on a uh, talk show or if it was just uh, like YouTube, YouTube or something. Whatever. It was just a YouTube he, thing. He sat down and he was just like, Look, Kanye, you are not even a rock star. You don't make rock. Well, he basically went... You are like the guy who brags about all the pussy he gets in college. He never oh. gets as much as he says he does. And what was what did Stop it. even say to that? Nothing? Uh, Literally nothing. Yeah, there's Literally been no nothing. response. Ouch. Man, I'm just thinking of the good time where Glastonbury from BBC was covered in Kanye's performance and they just subtitled it as he raps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was easy as well. That was easy as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, because the BBC subtitle got really pissed off. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the someone who sort of thing is, oh god, when will this show end? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think when you think of yourself as, when your alter ego is Jesus, basically. Or Jesus, <laughs> as he spells it. You, when you think of yourself that highly, even if it's just an act, well, at some point it becomes your actual personality. I mean, he's so he's so full of himself that there's actually a Rolling Stone cover with him with the crown of thorns, the um, stigmata, all that. Well, and it, the first song I ever heard of, heard by him, mm. way 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 back, was Jesus Walks with Me. Oh god. Oh, that shows how early this began. Wow. We, we ain't got nothing to lose, Mother Ducka, we rollin'. And this <laughs> is they this is nigger. why this is why it's so bizarre that he's such close friends with Jay Z, because Jay Z is so a very focused and controlled individual. You know Well, just because someone sort of sings a lot has a bit like a Everyone gets weird when it comes to social media, and and unfortunately, when you're Kanye West, literally everything is social media because everyone is always listening to what you say. Well, um, okay. I think uh, I get the impression that when he's actually just hanging out with a couple of other people, and may, may, maybe he comes across differently. Well, mm, it's hard to say. I mean, go well, for a we'll contrast. Never know, really, because we'll never be one of the guys he just hangs out with. <laughs> for better or for worse. Well. Probably for the better. Well, here's a bit of a contrast. I mean, JC, he said he was the new Sinatra. He didn't say he was Sinatra. He said he was like he was the new Sinatra in terms of having a very suave, cool air about him, a very controlled, mm. very focused sort of. You know, he I knows mean, what he's doing. Kanye West, he fucks a fucking Kardashian. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, pretty clear he has no fucking clue what he's doing. Yeah, but I mean, like, rap is like, there's always been kind of had a sort of, a, a sort of egotism to it. I was like, it's like a persona, isn't it? It's like, it's just like that kayfabe stuff, like the rest of this, you know, you've got to build up the persona and you got to ride it as hard as you can and never break the character. Yeah, but... Like Kanye, I, I feel like maybe Kanye's just ripped himself into a corner. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> like, you start out with Jesus Walks with me. Where do you go from there? Shit. <laughs> oh, no. You have to come up with entirely new concepts of 
of, 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 of ego. Positive, you know. Yeah. It, it's all a bit insane yeah. when it comes. I mean, all the different, all genres have these weird characters who you just go, what the fuck you on about? Like um, Jazz Coleman, lead singer of Killing Joke, brilliant singer, Br brilliant lyricist, but seriously, he's a moron. A huge horse's ass. Huh? A huge horse's ass. Well, basically, I'll put it as simply as this. Steel frame buildings don't fall in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to say any more, do I? That fuel doesn't melt steel beams. <laughs> I don't need to s say any more, do I? No, you do. I mean, it's sort of like talking about. I mean, I love the music of Killing Joke, but Jazz Coleman is a bit of a loon. <laughs> Sounds it. I mean, it's all like talking about chemtrails and the Illuminati and... Oh, boy. Yeah, he is the major conspiracy theorist type, so... Does that show up in their, um, in their lyrics at all? Oh, a lot of their lyrics. Uh, well, um, one of their songs called I Am The Virus, that they explicitly say... Steel frame buildings don't fall in seconds. Ah, oh dear. So they're not quite juggling, I think, but they are nearly there. How do you mean? Fucking madness, how, how, how do they work? The insane clown bossing, man. Yeah. Although, I don't know, I actually like that suit. It's the same kind of posse song in a dumb kind of way because it's, it's the kind of thing where it's like it's stupid but earnest. Yeah, well, mm. it's one of those. At least it it's got a bit of a tune to it and all that sort of thing. So you can at least it, it, yeah, it doesn't bore you. You're certainly right there. It's like a perfectly endless entertainment. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> endless. <laughs> I mean, it it certainly makes you listen and go. Uh, what? Magnets? <laughs> Magnets? Uh, 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 I don't even know what to say to this song. The real question is: Magnets don't cause steel buildings to collapse in seconds. <laughs> 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 Now, Jazz Coleman isn't a moron. That was a wrong use of words. But he is a nut job. <laughs> um, mm. but yeah, I just, uh, you you get all these personalities. I mean, um, I'm just trying to think. I mean, can any of you bring up weird personalities along those lines? Off the top of my head. There was this, this one that I mentioned earlier on, uh, Grimes. Mm -hmm. um, she's Canadian, but she's quite popular more than anywhere else, probably in uh, Southern Asia. Mm -hmm. um, and the story behind how our music became what it is, is um, at one point she decided she'd been trying to get into the industry for a while. She decided to just sort of go on basically a huge sort of fasting experience. Yeah. Towards the end of it, she started to have visions and heard voices that said her music was a gift from God. Oh, God. Um, it has produced some really awesome kind of ethereal uh, music in the past. Mm. Unfortunately, she is getting a little bit more kind of mainstream sounding now. Yeah. And that's like five, six years later. Mm -hmm. She's nowhere near on the level of people like Kanye, but... <laughs> this is so important to be on that level. telling her that her music is a gift from God. Well, that's a big ego. Well, yeah, but. You, well, it's consistent, you know, you know, No, I'm not saying there's a statement about what you're saying. I'm just saying that it's, that's more of a statement about Kanye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, yeah. Well, Kanye didn't be told. Well, 
with Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, I mean, a lot of men think that they're gifts from God, but Kanye literally thinks he's a gift from God. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's right. Would it be really right to deprive the world of Kanye? <laughs> can you believe it? Yeah, can you imagine like Kanye going back in time to try and teach people about music before his time in order to re- reward people early with existence? <laughs> like going back in time trying to teach Henry VIII about like rap music. Oh God! <laughs> Henry VIII would end up with like four times as many wives. <laughs> Henry VIII would learn that it's even not just okay to become bitches, but he would become sir. bitches at the same time. My question is, how many more guns would he add to the Mary Rose? <laughs> <laughs> There'd be like, guns. Oh, uh, He'd end up with fr- Gatling fr- cannons. This French no, no, king is trying to come across to me, but it pop a cap on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He'd put up guns so that it wouldn't just turn upside down. It would flip around the right way again. The very motion machine created with just guns firing constantly. I've just got this image of of the of the um, sailors on the Merry Rose going, we're sinking, we're sinking, we're, we're rising, we're rising, what the fuck? We had so many guns there, literally they fired once and just sank. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing a documentary about uh, Henry Gabe and how he, about how the music he made because you know he made music as well. Mm. Uh, it was actually really derivative of the songs of the time. And imagine like if he was actually just making derivative music of Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> actually, no. Henry, can look at Henry Gabe. He'd just be the Bob Sparks of his time. Actually, <laughs> if if Henry the Eighth. Became derivative of Kanye West when he came when Kanye came back to our time. Would that make Kanye derivative of Henry VIII? No, Kanye always comes first, no matter what time he's in. <laughs> That's what the ladies say. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, someone should make a movie about rappers going back in time and. And changes the scope of history. I'm still hung up on the whole Wu Tang Clan movie. Yeah, that would be something majestic. Something that should happen. The Wu Tang Clan had to get their music back, but in order to do that, they had to record the album before it even existed <laughs> and release it before they released it before. So they go back to Henry VIII's time and record it on. <laughs> Wait, wait, they go back to the like, Old Testament times and write it down on steel tablets, and then and tell and make a contract with with, with the person who buys it that it will that they will have to jump out of it and and like, and then it turns out that Indiana Jones and the and the, and the Ark of the Covenant was actually just a, wasn't actually the Ark of the Covenant. It was actually the box from one night in Shaolin. <laughs> so the ghosts, the ghosts of Wu Tang Clan members from ages past jump out of the box and <laughs> <Not to bring. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Written by the TV Works Axe Cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wordsmith, I'm a wordsmith, man. I'm 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 ad living. I think we are all just spitball. <laughs> just... <laughs> Although you're saying ad living in a show which is ad living. This is true. I'm, I'm 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 okay. I'm not ad living. I'm out living. I'm out living the rest of you. You're just meta living. <laughs> Fucking meta. <laughs> Martha Stewart living collection. <laughs> Martha, Martha Stewart should release a rap album. I'm saying no, it now. Like, Martha Stewart should already write a rap album since she's already been to jail once. What? Ooh. This is true. Martha Stewart <laughs> went to did. jail? What? Yes, she did. She doesn't really famous one, though. What's on? Um... Probably four, wasn't it? Was it in that text evasion or something? Yeah, something like that. Text evasion, but still. <laughs> Embezzlement. I think there's something along those lines, anyway. I'd love. Yeah, mm-hmm. five, they actually referenced it in the um, latest season of Orange is the, is the New Black. <laughs> oh, wow. 
But yeah, this was back in 2004, but she was jailed for five months and then fined $30,000 for lying to investigators about her sale of in-clone systems back in late 2001. Oh. Five months in jail for Martha Stewart. <laughs> well, you can expect that jail was spotless. <laughs> <laughs> Just smell great. Left with some nice little curtains on, on the bars. <laughs> Shanked with a plastic flower, just an inmate found shanked with a plastic flower. <laughs> Peace, you. You add a little sugar into this neutral loaf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just... like, mm-hmm. just a tangent, but basically the idea is that it's food as punishment. Everything a human needs for nutrition is this tasteless, like meatloaf max. Ah. And it's you're allowed to eat if you misbehave. <laughs> So oh, cruel and unusual punishments. It's pretty much up there. Which is impressive. Well, I'm not sure what to make of that. That sounds that way to suck all of the colour out of life. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. can't even enjoy what you're eating. Some reason near prison generally yeah, all just monitoring colours as well. Have fun with your breweries and grounds, it's like actually playing Call of Duty. I know, it always look, prisons always look like schools to me. Mm. I think that's. Sure this I I think that right. might actually be intentional as a way of sort of institutionalising the prisoners. It's Ooh. hard not. Oh, possibly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but anyway. It wasn't surprising if that was the plan. Mm. 